So you have finally made the decision to move your website to Webflow. As easy as it may seem, there are some nuances that you need to know before hitting the accelerator. So having consulted and migrated a lot of websites from other platform to Webflow, we know a thing or two about Webflow migration. So as this video is going to be a little long, feel free to skip to the right section by using the timestamps below. And let's get started. So this is this video we will gonna cover how to plan a migration, the importance of backup, SEO performance, and other things to be aware of, preparing the files and assets, Webflow development, CMS restore, adding all the integrations and plugins, pre-launch items, and some common questions asked by the clients. Before making the switch, uh, it is important to do your own research and figure out why Webflow is the right choice for you. Perhaps you wanted to build uh, marketing pages faster or create scalable and manageable web pages and collaborate with your teammates seamlessly. In this video, we consider that you have done your homework and uh, you just wanted to see or you just wanted to know how it's actually done. But if you are still unsure, feel free to book a discovery call with us and uh, we would be more than happy to help you to take the right decision. First, how to plan for migration. So before you start anything, you need to build a solid plan. A website migration is not just about moving the content from one platform to other. It's about ensuring everything works seamlessly with the new environment. This means thinking about how the current website is structured, how the design elements will got transferred or what functionality that needs to be maintained. Start by identifying all the pages available in the current system, custom scripts, CMS content, and uh, SEO data and performance metrics. Know exactly what's possible in Webflow so that there is no unmet expectations later on. And uh, having a clear roadmap will definitely gonna save you a lot of time and prevent you from missing out anything important throughout the process. Before touching anything uh, on your current website, uh, make sure to have a full backup whether you are moving it from WordPress or uh, Shopify or Wix or any other platform, take your time and uh, archive your site completely. We have had some experience uh, where we needed we needed some content from the old version of the uh, site and we could no longer recover it because we have no complete backup of the website. Please don't let that happen to yourself. So another critical point to consider while moving uh, from Webflow is SEO. So when moving to different platforms, uh, your server IPs, your URL and the files are changes which alarms the search engine uh, that there was a major update on the site and that site needs to be recrawled. A temporary drop in the search traffic is imminent after you switch the platform but you have to make sure to keep your URLs and directory structure as the same as the old site. When it is not possible, make sure that you have added a 301 redirect from old URL to the new one. After migration, Make sure that uh, your core web vitals are on the point uh, for a positive recovery of your uh, search engine traffic. Okay, a few more things that uh, are worth knowing that Webflow being a completely new platform, uh, there are some instances where some functionalities might not possible. For example, if you are using some sort of a plugin in WordPress or any sort of uh, app integrations that might not natively available on Webflow, but there is a higher chance that Webflow already supports that, but it is always nicer to be flexible when it doesn't. Preparing assets and uh, files. Up next, we have uh, getting your files and assets ready. When you migrate to Webflow, you need to make sure that your images, videos, and the other media assets are properly optimized for, for the platform. Uh, Webflow is great for performance, but it is essential to make sure that you are not uploading massive images, uh, which will uh, obviously slow down the overall performance of the site. So we have a dedicated video on how you can optimize the images and assets in Webflow if you wanted to go deeper. Take your time, organize everything in a way that makes sense for Webflow Asset Manager. And also ensure that if you are using any sort of sorts of custom fonts or custom libraries, uh, they are compatible with Webflow. Then we have uh, Webflow Development. Now let's talk about Webflow Development. So this is where everything starts coming together. It consists of developing every pages that we have discussed in the phase one, maintaining correct URL structure uh, directories and uh, adding animations, uh, implementing all the SEO settings, metadata for every pages. It includes everything. So it is also where the developer's skill really signs. So proper class naming conventions and following the proper uh, web design principles is essential and crucial in this stage. We have seen plenty of poorly developed websites uh, where 
uh, due to the disorganized class structure, uh, it affects the overall performance of the site. Restoring the CMS. So if your current site has any sort of content management system, restoring the data is crucial. Webflow's CMS is very flexible, but you need to map your old data uh, structure to Webflow's. That means you need to set up the collections, the fields and the reference correctly in Webflow. You might also need to add data manually in uh, Webflow CMS, or you can use Webflow's CMS import feature uh, for larger data set. Don't forget to test everything once everything is uploaded uh, so that your content looks right and uh, functions as it should. Then we have adding integrations and plugins and apps. Now that your core site is set up, it is time to add some integrations and apps to add some extra functionality. So Webflow has a lot of built-in feature, but you might need to integrate uh, third-party services like analytics, uh, CRM tools, uh, chatbots, or marketing automation softwares. We take a list of required tools and integrations a client needs beforehand to make sure everything is supported that prevents any surprises down the line. Double check that these integrations work smoothlessly, don't cause any performance issues. Webflow makes it very easy to add the custom snippets, but thorough testing is uh, always recommended and crucial to make sure everything works as expected. Then we have some pre-launch item to check. Before you go live, there are some pre-launch items to check off from your list. First, ensure that all your 301 redirects are properly set up to prevent broken links and uh, test all the forms, buttons and all the navigations items on your site. Do not forget to check how it is looking on different devices and uh, different browsers. Another crucial step is to test out your website speed and performance. Webflow is known for its fast loading pages but it is always good to run a speed test and optimize it further if needed. Also set up Google Analytics and Google Search Console to, mon Search Console to monitor your website's performance after launch. Some common questions from clients. We often got some questions during the migration process. Let's address some of the common ones. So how much does it cost to host a website on Webflow? Webflow is very flexible on their pricing. So they call it site plan based on the type of the website you have. Um, they've got different site plans and most clients are good with uh, the CMS site plan considering that you have got no other uh, e-commerce functionality. Do I have to pay for hosting separately? No, Webflow includes hosting in every plan. So you just need one domain. How much should it cost to move my website to Webflow? It really depends on the complexity of the project and also the skill set and the expertise of the chosen agency or developer. If you need an estimate, feel free to reach out to us. Will I lose the SEO rankings during migration? Not necessarily. There might be a dip in the initial phase, but you can recover it if you do the things correctly by maintaining same content, same URL structure, meta description, and uh, using proper redirects. Your SEO should be remain intact. Is Webflow right choice for us? Webflow is awesome for marketing websites and uh, small e-commerce stores. Whether you are a startup with a singular landing page with no CMS data, or you are at growth stage where you have a dedicated marketing team needing for the freedom to change uh, and test out things rapidly or you are a enterprise company uh, looking for a reliable system webflow got you covered how long does a webflow migration take this obviously depends on the size and the complexity of the project but typically anywhere from two to six weeks can i update the site myself after migration absolutely one of the greatest thing about Webflow is that how easy it is to update the site without need of a developer. Plus, you can invite your colleagues as a Webflow editor who can maintain and um, can work with the same environment uh, for content updates or any other updates as such. Uh, is this product or integrations possible on, on Webflow? A quick Google search will uh, tell you the answer. If not, you can always reach out to us with your query and we would be more than happy to help. Will my website go down during migration? So not necessarily, your old site will remain in tech and will be live until uh, we are ready to go live with uh, Webflow. So ideally the downtime uh, may be a couple of minutes to a couple of hours, next to max. Can I migrate my e-commerce site to Webflow? Yes, Webflow supports e-commerce, but the migration process can be a little complex, but uh, Product listings, customer data, and order history may need to be transferred manually or through third-party apps and services. So yeah, that is it. That's everything that you need to know about migrating your site to Webflow. 
it's definitely a complex project but we can make it easier for you feel free to shoot a message to us if you are interested and if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a like and subscribe feel free to drop any comments if you have regarding this and uh, thanks for watching and uh, good luck with your webflow migration